Alex confused because God knows I sure did. So if you do keep on watching, I have another little wrap for the second degree heart block type one, also known as the Wecken block. Okay, so here we are. We're going to learn about second degree heart blocks type one and have a little wrap to help you remember it. As always, this information is purely for educational purposes only and it's not intended as a substitute for medical advice. Okay, if this sounds Chinese to you, it's okay. You're going to get it in just a minute. Hang with me, okay? So second degree heart block, type 1, also known as Weckenbach, also known as Mobitz, type 1. Okay, so W, M. Don't get them confused. That's the second degree heart block. You can make a W into an M upside down. Okay, so second degree type 1 AV block, there's an increase of a delay between AV nodal conduction until basically the P wave fails to conduct through the AV node. And eventually you get a dropped QRS complex. Like, let's look at the picture because you'll understand it better. You see here how this is the P wave that is a result of atrial depolarization or the atria firing, right? So we have here, and then the QRS complex is a result of ventricular depolarization, just basically the ventricles firing. So P wave, we have this space here. You don't even have to really, in regards to identifying the type of heart block on an exam, you're not going to sit there with your calipers and you're not going to be like, it's good to get, it's good to be able to eyeball rhythms and be like, oh, this looks like this, this looks like that. So some a little bit of a space here right notice how this space prolongs between the p and the r so prolonged pr interval here's somewhat of a space our space gets longer it gets longer and it gets so long that it results in a dropped qrs complex this is the qrs qrs and uh, so P waves and QRS complexes are normal, right? This looks like a normal rhythm right here, but there are dropped beats. Here's our dropped beat. And if we were to see this continue on, there would be another dropped beat in the future. PR interval progressively lengthens and the R to R interval progressively shortens until a beat is dropped. And that's what happens here. And the block, does, the block is almost always within the AV node. Remember the SA node is the pacemaker of the heart. So the SA node is up here, the AV node is down here. This fires, then this fires. So it's an issue with this firing, right? Um, and the reason why that makes sense is because I just said, remember that the AV node is responsible for the ventricles. So because the ventricles are not firing, that's why we have a dropped QRS complex because remember the QRS is the result of ventricular depolarization. So the ventricles aren't firing, therefore we're not gonna have the the signature of what a QRS looks like. So here's my little uh, beat for, or my little rap for this kind of rhythm. So here we go. Longer, longer, longer drop, then you have a wagon buck. Longer, longer, longer drop, then you have a wagon buck. Longer, longer, longer drop, then you have a wagon buck. Perfect. All right. I'm sure you get it now. So um, I always love to end with a meme. This is how I feel when I'm answering select all that apply questions. I feel like I'm detonating some kind of device, explosive device, because select all that apply questions are so tricky. If you feel the same way, write a little comment section and say, yes, yeah, select all that apply questions are the worst. Um, I hope that you learned something from this video. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in.